Subhash, how are you? Uh, I'm doing well. Thank you for asking. And what about you? How are you? I'm very good, Subhash. Thank you so much. I'm very, very good. All right. Nice, nice. And what's happening? What's happening? How's the day going on? Day is going on very good. Uh, actually, I'm going for a trip. Uh, today, I will board on a train. Oh, and wow. I'm going, yeah. Where are you heading? <laughs> Where, 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 where are you going, Subhash? I am going to Goya, uh, that is in uh -huh. Bihar, uh -huh. just to perform this, uh, you know, this Pindan per uh, performance that we yes, do. Yes, yes, yes. Yeah. So oh. I am going there, yes. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So how many days, uh, uh, so this trip, it, mu it mu mustn't be uh, a long, long trip, right? No, no, it's only a one day program. One but, day, one day, exactly. Yeah, but, uh, but thereafter, yeah. I have a plan to visit Baranashi also, so. Varanasi. Um, yeah. uh -huh. okay. okay, okay. And where are you from, Subhash? I am from Guwahati. Guwahati. You know about Guwahati? <clears throat> yes, yes, of course. All right. So you're from. So quickly, Subhash, uh, what we'll do is we'll start the session with your introduction since this is our first session together, right? Yes. And yes. also, I can see that this is your 314th session. Mm -hmm. So we'll come back to that later. But uh, yeah, your introduction first. Yes, my name is Vashpal and I hail from Guwahati, that is in the state of Assam. And okay. here I'm uh, doing job in a government office for my mm -hmm. living. And my passion, my hobby, you can say that I just want to learn spoken English because so far as writing is concerned, I can write, I have the confidence, but while it comes to speaking, sometimes I get stuck. So I just want to practice and enhance my fluency. That's why I am here. Perfect, perfect. But then you've had around 304. This is your 314th session, Subhash. Yeah. Many, like, like it's a very good number, right? It's a very yes, good yes. number. Many <clears throat> sessions you've had here. So yeah. how about the whole journey, Subhash? How is it going? And, and the purpose of joining, do you think you are achieving that purpose? You are somewhat gaining something out of it? Getting yes, better? yes, uh, definitely. The main purpose is that uh, I, can't, I could not speak English. So uh -huh. just I have started picking up this language mm -hmm. while mm -hmm. it uh, comes to speaking. So when I started the journey uh, with a clapping tutor, I was very nervous. When the session <laughs> began, I always say it was uh, thinking that how would go, how the session would go, whether I would be able no. to speak with the tutor. So many things came to my mind when the uh, session began. But mm -hmm. now I, that things are no more. So I can uh, face the tutors confidently. What right. might come, I just don't mind. I will just speak right, wrong, no matter. So uh, this is... they've definitely improved, huh? They've gained yes, confidence yes. and definitely. Yes, yes. Yeah, it you is speak there. very well, uh, Subhash. I should mention this right here that you speak very well English. Okay. Now I don't know. I've got no idea that how you were in your initial sessions. But right now, since this is our first session together, I can see that you are speaking well English, right? So all yeah. the best to you. And Thank lovely you. to see this, as you said, that I was really nervous in my initial sessions. But now yeah. I'm not, and I'm ready to face whatever comes in front of me. So that's kind of super confidence, which is amazing. Yeah, yeah, right, right, right. All right. All right, Subhash, lovely. So uh, <clears throat> let us just, uh, okay, Subhash, there's no session notes today? No, no, I don't get any session note. As you know, the number is uh, 300 plus. plus. Uh, I get, I stopped getting these uh, session notes long back. Long back. Okay. Okay. No problem. All right. So we'll, we'll take a random topic. So I'll just uh, quickly look for a topic. Oh, before, before that, I just want to know uh, yeah. which city are you from? Well, I'm currently, I'm, I'm residing in Gurgaon, uh, Subhash. Gurgaon, you know it? It's near Delhi. Yes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Yeah. I know a little bit about you. You are a charter accountant. I have seen some of your videos and then I thought that oh. I would take a session with you. But the bad luck is that you always come at that daytime. You don't come in the <laughs> evening. So I did not have no. any opportunity to meet you. Today, oh. there was an opportunity because I am going for a trip. Before that, I Good took you. leave from office. So <laughs> I just did not want to go uh, let go this opportunity. So I oh. just grab it. Oh, lovely, lovely, lovely. Yes, I usually I take sessions in uh, during the daytime, right? Yeah. So yeah, and you must be free after your office. So probably yes, yes. evening or later, right? Yes, yes, that's right. Well, well, lovely, lovely to see you, Subhash. <clears throat> okay, all right. 
so uh, we will pick this topic uh, subhash which is on festivals okay right? festivals yeah. is a great topic to talk about right mm-hmm. so uh, if i ask you if i ask you which is your favorite festival you know india has got a lots and lots of festivals like it's totally filled with yes, festivals yes. so which one is your favorite <clears throat> my favorite festival is durga puja so here <laughs> in uh, assam it is celebrated very well uh-huh. so, and i love it so but exactly you, why what, what is the reason that you first of all uh, before durga puja what we do we buy our new clothes uh, for the occasion and mm-hmm. then uh, what happens that this mandap these pandals are erected at different mm-hmm. places to mm-hmm. and uh, we can see the goddess the idols of goddess durga under mm-hmm. preparation and we go sometime and see the how they, they are uh, making the goddess durga so all these things come together and when uh, this uh, puja begin uh, begins then we go and hop the pandals from one pandal to another pandal and the lighting is very the pandals are decorated very well and mm-hmm. sometimes this uh, uh, those who uh, organize this uh, puja they yeah. bring artists from other uh, states particularly from oh. west bengal for decorating this illuminating the pandals Right. So, so these are the things that we like. Hmm. So they do and, it very beautifully. Hmm. The decorating yes, yes. part. Hmm. Yes, hmm. yes. Hmm. And one more thing that everybody loves to uh, go outside uh, during those days, uh, witnessing puja at the same time eating out outside. So <laughs> right. this is another thing. Yeah. <laughs> That's also fun. <laughs> so it goes on for like nine days. Yeah. If if I'm right. No, here uh, it is celebrated four days. four days okay yeah. so is it is it, so those four days it's it's like a holiday season or is it yes. is it it's not like that is yeah it, yeah it's like holiday season yeah it's like a holiday season for all those four days oh yes, lovely yes. lovely lovely so that is uh, you know uh, uh, and how about diwali because i think on diwali is a very common festival throughout india where you get throughout get india some, right because right. i like diwali why why i tell you so much because it's a very you know it's a, it's a long festival like a five day festival so you get leaves for like five days and you get to celebrate for like five days which is amazing so how about uh, what are your thoughts on it do you do you like uh, that festival? but uh, yeah i like it uh, because again it's uh, all about illuminating uh, the, all the buildings and places absolutely so it looks nice and busting yeah. of crackers also but nowadays uh, the no, it is that's less that's for the light part yeah, yeah, yeah. Diwali. yes huh. so but here uh, diwali is celebrated only for two days not only the five days, days. Okay. yeah okay okay <clears throat> just two days so so the main diwali and the next day or the day before uh, here we uh, there is one puja that is called kali puja okay so the first day is kali puja and the next day is diwali Uh-huh. but i think it uh, differs from uh, this races from say mm-hmm. the bengalis uh, celebrated in certain way and again the maori people they may be celebrating in another oh, way oh the ways of celebrating <coughs> must be different sort of different okay 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 it must be very different okay so subhash so what is that one thing that you like about the festivals maybe one this- thing i yeah one thing i like about the festival is that Uh, during durga puja what happens that nowadays i don't go but i hail from another place here in guwahati i have come in search of my job and i now i have settled here okay. though i am from the same state but it is uh, 500 kilometers away from where i have come so during this festival seasons uh, what we do we get uh, we take we get leave holidays and also we take uh, um, four or five more days as leave and we go to our place so there mm-hmm. what happens that we get to meet so many old friends and yeah. they also serving somewhere else in another parts of our country they also come during those time at the same place where we were born and brought up so that is a very nice thing when we meet those people these friends after such mm-hmm. a long time that yes. is something that i love very much meeting people yeah meeting people and do you, do you, do you think meeting people this this thing has kind of reduced a lot nowadays because of you know maybe social media people they sort of they just be in contact on the social media and and they don't meet more like they used to earlier yes, do you yes. think i totally agree i totally agree 
it is yeah. not about meeting other people even at my home also i have seen when i come from office i will see my <laughs> wife is busy with her phone my son <laughs> is busy with her phone which is phone and i am too busy with my phone so everybody is busy nobody is talking to one another so uh-huh. this is happening at our home also oh so god it, uh, you can imagine how it is going outside <laughs> yes and it it's happening in uh, you know everywhere this this thing is happening you know yes, uh, yes, in families yes. everyone is busy with their own phones or or laptops and all sort of things and they don't have they don't have time to sit together and talk yeah you know? it is sheer addic- addiction i think because in my case i have seen them just i want to leave it for some time the mobile i just forget after 5 minutes then again mm-hmm. i come back and i just open it and see or uh, the notification or anything uh, something uh, so this is a kind of addiction i think this is definitely a, a addiction addiction because yeah. you know uh, because we find kind of just leave it for 10 minutes and then for those 10 minutes also we sort of have this anxiety that okay there must be some notification let us go and check it right yes, so this, yes, this thing yes. is constantly in our head even if you're not touching it for 10 minutes this yes, is definitely yes. you know it is it is uh, coming out to be as an addiction okay and subhash what role uh, do gifts play during celebrations according to you yes. is giving <clears throat> and receiving gifts is it important yes uh, it is important because uh, it gives the kind of uh, what to say the, when the bonding the bonding yeah. is there so hmm. during durga puja we do like that so before starting of puja we buy clothes for ourselves at the same time we buy clothes for our relatives Mm. and we give them this clothes mm. so mm. yes it mm. is there uh gifting is 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 a essential yeah. part of the celebration yes yes right okay and and yeah. where do you like to celebrate the festivals where do i like yes because you know these days it's very trending that uh these big festivals what people do is they they go to a special place you know as a destination festival and go there and then celebrate like holi is approaching and mm-hmm. on holi what happens is uh, people they usually go to this place uh, which is called pushkar it's in rajasthan mm-hmm. i don't know if you are aware about that place yes, but yes, yes. everyone they they gather around in, uh, at at pushkar and you know maybe also uh, you know foreigners many foreigners also come there to celebrate holi and many people around the country they visit there and celebrate holi so it's not like you know these days it's kind of trending you know people they oh, go to okay. a particular place to celebrate a festival so is it the case with you also you like no. to celebrate it with your family no no, no actually uh, what am i i am even uh, i am even not aware of this thing so uh-huh. i have not <laughs> i have not seen the people around me also doing this so uh-huh. it's a very new thing for me <laughs> hmm. So you like to celebrate with your family at your home, right? Yes, yes, yeah, in our own right. place, yeah. Ah, uh, it's very authentic way to do it. Okay. Do you think festivals or celebrations are very uh, over commercialized or have uh, lost their original meaning? Oh yes, yeah, this has yes, happened. Yes, yes, definitely, yeah. definitely. Because now we just uh, give more importance to this de- decoration part, the mm. original uh, puja that we used to do. We just ignore the main theme. and mm. we are busy in decorating and while decorating you see this uh, now uh, you know this with uh, this uh, organizer this durga puja organizer they uh, take contribution from mm. the people Everyone. and they yeah so they give receipt also for okay. the contribution that they receive mm. and in the receipt book you'll find there are so many advertisement behind the receipt book oh my god yes in every page mm. so these are all things this is the commercialization that is taking mm-hmm. place mm-hmm. yeah and what else do you think has changed over the years like you must have seen uh, the celebrations like years back that it used to happen in a very simple way or in in a certain way now it has completely changed so what, what is that what is that change like decoration part you said is is the mm-hmm. one thing that you have seen that you know it's changed apart from that one well, one thing uh, i that uh, there is uh, more uh, people are more inclined to showing off it is not mm. earlier the, the, these things are not earlier. we always take others as equal no right. maybe there somebody is rich and somebody is poor but mm. nowadays show is prevalent all over the place so sometimes we uh-huh. feel inferior uh, to the uh-huh. other people uh-huh. when we see that they are showing off their richness so these are happening little bit of flaunt 
they flaunt flaunting. their money yeah correct 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 yeah. correct there are people who flaunt this okay yeah. and and last question for today uh, subhash that what is that one particular thing that you don't like about the festivals don't or celebrations like festivals mm i don't think there is anything i don't like but the day when we have to uh, immerse our uh, durga idols after oh. celebrating three days uh -huh. on the fourth day we have to uh, immerse uh, in river or some other lakes if there is available so that is mm. very painful and sometimes mm. nowadays i don't do but when i was young i used to cry on that day oh so, so you don't like when the festivals end basically yes yes <laughs> so and the festivals part is ending it is hard to one huh. more thing happened earlier when i was in school so huh. at the end of festival we have to go to school again again we have oh. to study so they were yeah <laughs> that is that is somehow the okay okay that's the sad part about it but yes uh, you know there are there are certain things subhash which i think uh, people sometimes go overboard by celebrating you know while they are celebrating a festival you know maybe in terms of uh, creating a mess uh, you know uh, uh, the crowds they create a lot of mess uh, you know uh, garbage and mess which is which is not right if i if i talk about diwali then the sort of pollution that we face yeah. after the festival that's unbearable so that is definitely not good for the environment so that is a particular thing which we can you know Uh, uh take care of while celebrating while yeah. celebrating so the festivals are good but the way we we do it and celebrate it is i think we should uh, always uh, take care of those uh, the, the actions that we take uh, yeah. otherwise uh, cele celebrations are always festivals are yes, always yes 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 but this time i think in uh, last diwali in delhi and the celebration they celebrated well they did not uh, burn many cakes i think that's last time no uh, subhash actually um, government also uh, put they, they put a lot of uh, you know restrictions on uh, you know they set a time period that you have to if you have if you have to burst, burst crackers then you can you have to like around 8 to 10 that's it like you mm -hmm. just have like 2 hours or 3 hours to do it and after that there will be there will be fine but then no one followed no one followed you know after the time limit also people were bursting crackers and there was no fine or nothing like that so basically mm -hmm. yes rules are there but you know you don't follow it so if you're not following then i don't think it's a responsible way of celebrating anything yeah so so yeah rules are there but no one follows it <laughs> so that's yes. as a good citizen of our country you should observe the rules we definitely yeah. definitely